Welcome back. So today we are going to be doing tw uh, process video number three, and we will be scrapbooking this picture of my grand dog bear, who is just the cutest. And hopefully I'm all in screen. I've been trying to make sure I've got a new camera phone, so um, trying to get used to it. Anyways, this is the picture we're going to scrapbook, and this is everything that we put in the original page kit. And then these are the items that are carrying over from that the other kits that didn't get used. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these into the embellishment pile. And also, I have these pieces of paper. So let's see what we can do with this one. And I'm just gonna put these to the side and I'm gonna dump all of these off to the side here. So what I was thinking with this one is I was just gonna use maybe one strip of the heart paper. I really like this paper. I'm not sure if I want this. Actually, what I could do is more of like the, the go-to L design where I could use this as my background, do a strip of this going across, and then go and do a strip of this going up and down. And maybe, maybe I'll map the photo on this. I don't have enough of the yellow anymore to do it. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna cut the branding strips all off. I'm gonna cut this down to, yeah, I'm gonna cut this down to like a four inch band. And then I think for this one, I'm just gonna do like a two inch band, you know, two of the rows of hearts. And I'll just go and pick to see which of these cut up hearts I really like. And that way I can, um, like I like the, the bear. I could even use that on his page too. So I'll probably take it from this side of the page. If I can get them. Let me see. I'm gonna play with it and see where I can, where I can get it from. Cause I do like the B too, but um, I don't think I can do it if I cut two rows. I think it's going to take part of that off. But I could tuck it. So we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did off camera was I cut the branding strip off of this piece of paper. This came from my paper pad, not with the kit. I cut down, this is about two and a quarter strip of the heart paper which did come with the kit and I cut a little bit of the green that did come with the kit. Now I didn't like the plaid with this it's it seemed like it was blending in too much and the other papers that I had already pulled out from the paper pad were just um weren't dark enough and also the back side of this paper wasn't dark enough either. So I grabbed out the six by eight paper pad that we had used for making the pages. And I was able to find this piece that had strawberries on it. But as you can see, when you mat it down to a small piece, you really can't really tell that they're strawberries. But I like the dark color because now it pops off of the page. Also in that paper pad was this rainbow and I thought that kind of went with the whole feel of the goofy guy there. So all I did was cut off the curved top and I kind of rounded this edge a little bit so it didn't go straight to straight. So now that we're there, now it's just a matter of embellishing. And so I, you know, I've got like this one, it says, hello, I'm new here, um, which probably, would work because of the fact that um, this was the first time we had them because we kind of like kind of kidnapped them. <laughs> and I have the baby bear, so I could do something like that or bring it more down. Um, 
Let's see. I do want the baby bear to show. Or I could do, nah. I don't know if I want, let me take this off. I know I want the play all day. That really goes there. And then I could put like the baby bear there. And then there's, but that gets too wordy when you have the explore. Now let's try this. Baby bear, play all day. Then I can have this little bear here with his little bow. Okay, I need to have my title, which is my buddy, because he is my buddy. I'm gonna do buddy there, and my, just kind of corner it. And let's see. I really wasn't being brave, but I could use the hello. This was in. Hello, baby bear. And then we do have the little word phrases. So I have boy, oh boy. Oh, where did the other one go? And do I want the black? I think I'm going to go with the black bow because of his black fur. I thought I had some more here. I know I'm going to sprinkle stars. Huh. I lost my little freight. Oh, here's one. So silly. There should be one more. That kind of got misplaced in all my stuff here. Sweet baby. Oh, and I did distress ink all the edges with my walnut stain. Up oh, here is the other one. And then pure joy. I could do that there or could put them up here. Baby bear. I kind of like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and glue this down. Boy, these um, thickers, you know, how sometimes the glue is just not the greatest. Um, these puffy stick thickers are really, they're sticking to the back, so I think they're going to be pretty good. Because they're hard to take off the backing sheet, so hopefully that's a good sign. And I got that there. With him saying hello. I don't want to cover his ear up, but I don't want the gap either. So it's going to go like that. I could move this down just a little bit. There. I kind of liked it over the rainbow, but I, I want the hello to kind of look like it's coming from him. I don't want it to be off. So boy oh boy. So silly. And pure joy.
And then I'm gonna put the word my down first because it needs to nestle in like here without covering him up too much. And then buddy, I can run equal with it. And that way they line up and I can run buddy across the picture. And that will get Buddy down. And for this, I'm just going to line, start the B off. Um, these may have to go up a little. So I want Buddy to go there. My to line up. All right. And then Buddy will run across the bottom. I love these phrases too. There are a lot of use useful ones. So if you have um, a new baby, this um, phrase stickers that came with the kit are great. A lot of really useful phrases for um, newborns. That's what, one of the reasons when I saw uh, Shannon Ayler on She's Crafty um, show this kit on her pay, web page or her YouTube, I knew I had some of the pieces already. And with my grandson, I knew this was going to be the perfect kit for him. And it's a great way of trying. I didn't subscribe to the kit club because um, I'm not ready for that kind of a commitment for it. But to be able to test it out and see what you get in it. Um, and just every once in a while, I'll just order a kit club kit just to get some variety of supplies without having the commitment. You spend a little bit more money for it, but it's a way of, you know, just having a little taste of stuff. All right. So there is that. Now... I just need to sprinkle the stars and then we're going to put some of the wood veneer. Um, we'll put the wood veneer um, sequence on this time instead of the other. So I'll put a star here and we'll put one up here and we'll put one here and the one with my buddy. All right. So we've got those, and then we'll just kind of sprinkle these on in a few places. And the reason I'm picking this one is, is I have a little bit of the wood look with these two items, so to bring more of that brown in is good. Whoops, sorry about that. So I'm just going to go and put maybe like three up here, and maybe three down here. And three over here. And I'll come back for those. And this is just um, a quick stick. This is by Quick Cuts. I got this a long time ago um, at Archivers before they closed back in the day. I couldn't remember the last time when I filmed my other video um, what the name of the store was. I used to love Archivers. They had everything that you wanted. And we had a store that was eh, about 40 minutes away from us. And so it was really nice to be, when you wanted really specialty stuff, to be able to go there. But then, um, yeah, they ended up filing bankruptcy. It was sad. My sister and I had also gone on a girl's trip up to the Mall of America, and they had a huge store up there. And so it was kind of neat. I'd gone twice, and I knew exactly where the store was up there. And so I, whereas most people are buying the clothes and all that stuff, I had saved all my um, fun money for buying at Archivers. All right, so I've got those three. Uh, I got 
a little bit of a mess here. Kind of scoop it up. And then I just need a little bit more up here. Maybe we'll go up here. One, two, and three. And that should be enough. And three. All right, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna call this one done. And I'll just maybe journal like down here, you know, about him. And um, snitching him from my son that day. And then um, what we'll carry over now to tomorrow will be, um, so I've got this little scrap, these little scraps, this actually I can throw away. So this, which is the back side of the green, I have the plaid with a little, few cut aparts on it. I have the heart band stripes with a few cut aparts on it. I still have a little bit of this yellow or golden yellow, a little bit of the animal, this little piece of the um, gingham and the um, wild creature people, and then these dots. So this will carry over for the paper. And then for the embellishments, I'm carrying over the peekaboo, the hello, um, best kid ever, the star, um, dreams, little one, be brave, sweet baby, another bow, an explore, wonder, oh my darling, another bear, one of a kind, uh, my baby bear, be wild, and the wood veneer bow. So, this will all carry over to the next one. And here's another of our uh, finished layouts. So I will see you tomorrow for number four.